videographer that's been following sleeps since we realized how important it was to give people that are disabled, our youth, our veterans, every human being, the ability to shelter themselves from the rain and get a good night's sleep so they can be productive the next day and make everybody's wishes come true. And so I came up with this idea to move into Whoville last week so that I could capture some of these people's stories that don't share them very easily and um, see for myself what this really feels like. And uh, I just want to tell you that people over there are really scared right now. They're really scared and they really need the community to step up. They're, they're going back to the woods where women are being raped because they're forced to go hide in the dark to sleep and they found some sort of shelter there and some safety that they haven't had for a long time. And if you think those tents don't mean something, you try being homeless and be given a tent when you're not usually allowed to even sit on a curb or sleep at night. So people that were, were getting a lot better in Whoville, like, I mean, some serious success stories. I know, because I've been listening to them. People that are really struggling with drug addiction, are finding sobriety. People that really struggle with mental illness are finding a sense of security and actually being able to function like they haven't for 15 years on the streets. And, uh, and what I'm witnessing is people relapsing, you know? People scared and people stressed out and going back to some old ways. And it's not okay. And what's really not okay is I took two stories that will change my life forever. I will never be the same after hearing two women's stories yesterday. And I think it's time for us to put a stop to this. Because everybody, no matter whether you're a drug addict, no matter what your story is in life, you should have the right to sleep. You should have the right to get a chance to be better the next day and do all the things everybody wants you to do. I believe after watching what I've seen for the last week especially, that we're causing these problems in a big way. We really are. If you force people not to be able to sleep and half the people you interview say, I'm just trying to figure out how to stay up all night so I don't get harassed by the police, then the rules themselves are causing the problems. If you prevent mentally disabled people from sleeping and then you wonder why they're in the streets out of control and don't have their illnesses in control, then you're causing the problem, right? So the, I believe that the rules themselves are causing the problem. So sending them back in, we're not only hiding it, but we're making it worse. We're making it a lot worse. And I think that's what they've been missing for a long time. They say 20 years they've been working on this problem. I read in Alan Zelenka's state of address for the city, his whole address was about the homeless issue. And he feels like he's put all this energy into it, but they keep doing the same thing, hoping for different results. It would be really nice if we just try something different that's working to a large degree, make it better, give it time to make it better, and see what the results of that are.